Hey everyone. Uh, according to the last video, you you seen me uh, try to get a uh, laptop to work. I replaced the keyboard, figuring that it was the uh, power button, and it wasn't, sadly. So uh, now I have a. It's the newer version of an Aspire 3, but it's still a used laptop that I received from my cousin. Um, it is the uh, a 315 r uh, The one I had was built in 2018 and uh, I bought it in 2019. This one is built in 2020, so it's newer and it's a little bit different. Uh, it still doesn't have the, um, the what they call a solid-state drive, but uh, it must have been pretty close to when they, they changed it over. So uh, today I'm replacing, um, actually I'm not replacing, I'm going to be putting in 8 gigabytes of RAM. There's only 4 in this unit and it's kind of plugged into a different section but there's a place back here, somewhere around here for um, uh, for RAM. And uh, this here is 8 and this is a maximum of 12 so I'm going to boost this up to 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so I just have to take the perimeter of the... Uh, screws out and uh, use this little device here, a spudger or whatever they call it, to take up the top and then I should be able to get access to the uh, RAM uh, to put the RAM in. And we are in like Flynn. Put that to one side. You can see the battery here. And um, so here is where the RAM goes in. And of course it's uh, pretty easy to do. You just line up uh, this notch here with the notch here, and uh, we should be good. There's usually the numbers facing up anyway. If you put it the other way, you'll see that the, uh, uh, the surface mount uh, parts are visible. So typically it goes in this way. Put it in on a 45, uh, actually it's less than 45, probably about 30, 20 degrees, like that. It's nice and secure. Push it down so it locks, and we're in. Now I could just flip this over. Uh, the battery and everything is all bolted in to try it, but uh, I know that it works. So uh, the RAM just came out of uh, my other one and it was working fine. So then after we got the RAM put in place, we basically just uh, reassemble. And uh, it goes this way here. Uh, this fan here doesn't exhaust uh, per se so much. It kind of cools this this area here for some reason. I don't know how they there's an exhaust back there, but I don't quite understand how they don't have the cooling tube. But anyway, there it is. Put that back on and uh, reinsert the screws, and we're ready for power up. So that's just a pretty basic way to upgrade the Acer Aspire 3. Thanks for watching.